This video will give you the inside scoop on the upcoming WISE IPO. I'll be looking at what we know about the IPO so far, some helpful headline news about the company and how you can buy shares. If you find this video useful, click subscribe and hit the bell button to be the first to know when our latest video drops. Formerly known as TransferWise, WISE is a UK-based digital payments provider. The company plans to list its shares on the London Stock Exchange around the 5th of July. Instead of a conventional IPO, WISE plans to go public with a dual-class direct listing, plus an additional customer shareholder programme. So what the hell does any of that actually mean? One of the main focuses for an IPO is raising funds. To do this, a company will hire underwriters to create new shares for them. This will dilute the value of existing shares, but gives the company something new to sell. This method can be quite costly, but comes with the added security of working with underwriters who will buy up any available shares and then sell them on via their huge distribution networks, manifesting as much hype and excitement as they can along the way. With a direct listing, instead of hiring an intermediary and diluting its shares, a company and its existing shareholders just list their shares directly for the public to buy. The cost is often very low for direct listings, but there is much less backing and buzz around it. The dual class structure allows WISE to give specific shareholders more voting weight, despite not having as many shares. And the Customer Shareholder Programme is WISE's future goal to give customers joining as shareholders extra perks and rewards like bonus shares. Essentially, what this means for investors like you and me is that we should be able to access WISE shares as soon as they hit the market, rather than waiting our turn behind bigger institutional investors. Some sources say the launch could value WISE at around £5 billion, while others say it could reach as much as £9 billion. WISE was founded in 2010 by London-based Estonians Tavet Henrikus and Christo Carmen as a solution to costly money transfers between UK and European banks. The fintech company has been making a profit since 2017 and reported a revenue of over £300 million in 2020, a year-on-year -year growth of 70%. WISE has around 2,200 employees across 11 countries worldwide and now boasts more than 8 million customers. If you don't already have a trading app or brokerage account, you'll need to set one up. Shop around to find the best one for you, but if it's WISE shares you're especially interested in, make sure your app has access to the London Stock Exchange. Add funds to your account, search for WISE shares, then select a market order to buy shares at the price listed before you, or choose a limit order to automatically buy shares when their prices fall within the specific limits you have set. And congrats, you are now a WISE investor. Pun very much intended. If you want to know more about upcoming IPOs or learn more about investing, head to finder.com. I've tagged a whole load of useful links in the description below, including a link to our 2021 IPO calendar. If you enjoyed this video, be sure to subscribe to our channel and hit the bell button to be the first to know when a new video drops. Thanks for watching.